Welcome to Clan TV, the midweek edition. It's time for an interview with one of the team, and he's right here with us. It's Derek Rail. Hi, Derek. How are you doing? I'm good, Craig. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Now, the team are back in home ice this week. We can see it right behind you. We're taking on five flyers uh, to welcome the team home. Is there an element of payback to this because of the 4-0 defeat in Kirkcaldy a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, was, that was a rough game for us, and uh, we're excited to get back home here. You know, we've been on the road for the last month, month and a half, so it'll be a good game, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Now, you guys have been on the road for the last five weeks with the amount of games that you've had. How does it feel to be coming back home to, to home ice and finally seeing all those fans again? Oh, it'll be great. I mean, even through this last five weeks, uh, there's been a great showing of our fans on the road uh, supporting us uh, through each of those games. And, and now to come back home in front of, I'd like to think, will be a sold-out barn. It'll be pretty rowdy here uh, Friday night. It's, it's been a long time coming. So everybody's excited and uh, looking forward to it. Now you've experienced this arena as obviously a current player and as an opposing player when you were here with the Five Flyers last year. How intimidating an atmosphere can this place be? An atmosphere is uh, can take can help a team. You know, uh, the home team obviously usually helps a little bit more. You know, when they get behind you, they make a big hit or make a good play. You know, the the sound that comes from the atmosphere. It's big. It just picks you up. It lifts you. And and you know, it was great. Both barns here and in Fife are. They both have a you know a different type of atmosphere, but um, it's good here and, and looking forward to it again. Now the club played Dundee Stars on Saturday, winning 7-4 and then lost 3-2 to Coventry on Sunday. You got the two goals down in Coventry as well. Was there a lot of positives to take from especially the Coventry game? Uh, yeah, you know we we came out a little bit slow and uh, on Sunday and and I think you know I was short benched and uh, missing some key guys. We battled back, you know, we left it all out there. I, I wouldn't say that uh, many guys, you know, took were passengers, so it was good. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the result wasn't what we were looking for, but, you know, there was there was some positives to take from it, and that's that's just what we're going to focus on. Now, as I mentioned, five flyers come here on Friday night, your old team, as I said. Now, some of your old teammates will have enjoyed the bragging rights since that, that 4 now win a couple of weeks ago. Have you had any contact off them? Have they been sending you text messages or anything in social media just to just to get a rise out of you? Uh, no, not 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 really. Uh, <laughs> I talked to them a little bit, a few guys after the game and and whatnot. But you know, it'll it'll be a good good match, and uh, we're looking we're looking forward to it. Now we spoke for the club website uh, prior to that that game in Kirkcaldy, and you told me you were hoping for a warm welcome from the fans, given what you did for them last year. Did you feel you got that off them? Okay. Uh, so so. Uh, you know, I, I heard uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of booing going on uh, to be any of the period there, and it was a mixture. But you know, I know I know that most most of the true fans there uh, were supportive, and you know, some of them were giving me a hard time. But it, it's all right. I, I could take it. It's to be expected. Yeah, to be expected. <laughs> now you've settled into the team well this year. You've scored six goals in your nine games so far, plus that one assist. Compared to last year, you got 26 for Fife across the whole season. Have you set any targets in that respect this season? Is, is that, you know, the 26 you got last year, is that something you want to surpass as the season goes on? Yeah, you'd always like to surpass the last year and, and always like to do better um, individually. But I, I just want to contribute to the team and uh, whatever it takes for us to win. If it's me scoring goals, getting assists, blocking shots, whatever it is, uh, I'm up for it. So see how it goes. Now, as well as Friday's game, Clan go to Edinburgh on Saturday, then Dundee on Sunday. As a player, how much does the less travelling aspect of it going to help you this weekend? You know, it's big. The uh, last five weeks we were on the road. We had some rough, rough uh, road trips there, and you know, I think Edinburgh's about an hour away, and Dundee's a couple hours. So it's it's not too bad of travel, and and there's really no excuses um, when you when you're only going an hour or two down the road. So. You know, it definitely has a little bit of a factor, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. Now, considering the amount of games there's been on the road in the last five weeks, there was eight in total. Is is there a general satisfaction at how well the results have gone, plus the performances as well among the team? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we had uh, like we dropped a couple points there. Um, you know, obviously Sunday, and then I think we lost one in Cardiff there too, and then f obviously five, but. You know, I think we're happy with the results and, and how, how we uh, performed in this last five weeks and, and we're looking forward to what's to come. Now Chris Frank will return to the team after his, his four-game ban. I see you smiling there. How big a miss has he been in these last few games? 
No, he's been huge. Uh, it's it's been huge to be without him. Uh, short, sh we're shorthanded back there. At the last two games, I believe. Uh, he's a big presence, you know, a big body. You know, he, he stirs up some, stirs up some things with the opposing team. So it'll be good to have him back there, and uh, his uh, energy and his leadership will, will uh, help us. Now, as I said, it's uh, Fife. Uh, Edinburgh then Dundee in that order. How important are these three games in terms of asserting the objectives of the team on the Gardner Conference this year? They want to win it back, obviously, after Dundee won it last year. Yeah, it's it's a huge weekend. You know, every weekend's big, every point's big, especially league games. I think we've played majority Challenge Cup. I feel like, but um, these these uh, league games are huge, and um, you know we get we're just going to look at getting better each day and taking the positives and taking as many points as possible. So it's possible six points this weekend. I'd be happy with six. One more question. The fans that were here last saw the team in the game against Belfast Giants back at the start of September. When you come back here on Friday night, you've had that month to gel to get used to each other. Are the fans going to see a better team, a better Brayhead clan this weekend? Well, yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the plan, get better each day. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I know that we're going to come out there and Everybody's going to be pretty excited to be back home, and we're looking forward to coming in front of our fans and, you know, giving giving them our best effort. So, thanks very much, Dave. Thank you.